Hello everyone. Hope everybody is doing great during this social distancing time. And whenever I speak to people, immediately they ask, how is COVID-19 situation in your area? So let us forget about COVID-19 for some time. Let the government, state government or central government or the administrators, let them take care of it. Being a professionals, entrepreneurs, economists, and as an individual. So let's sit back and think over what's going to happen after June, July. Let the government machinery take care of controlling the COVID-19, which I'm sure our Indian government along with the state governments are doing great job. As an individual, as a professional, what we can do? Last week, our finance minister, she has announced 1.76 lakh crores of relief or subsidies to be given to the needy people and the poor people. And also followed by RBA governor, he has announced interest relief to the borrowers. Also, he announced the interest rate will be reduced on the deposits for the people who deposit the money with the banks. We need to understand, so this all adds to our cost to the fiscal budget what they prepared, what the Indian government has prepared in the last year. And that's going to be this cost going to increase our fiscal deficit. And this will come to each and every one of us as a, ta as a tax, whether it can be indirect tax or direct tax. GST or income tax, whatever name you call it, it's all going to come and sit on everyone's head as a tax cost in the upcoming budgets. Also, they announced moratorium. The RBI governor has announced moratorium for the loans for next three months. I urge all the people now who are all going to utilize this moratorium. Let's prepare the cash flow for next two years. Why two years? There are a lot of information coming from across the globe saying that next six months, at least from other than India, so people are looking that they are going to announce lockdowns. So there will not be any uh, business uh, continuity or the similar situation what has prevailed a couple of months before. So people are saying it's going to be a real task for next six months, which means the current financial year, current April to March, that is the April financial, which is going to start from tomorrow. I think we are going to face challenges. Each industry in India, either there will be a import dependency or export dependency, being a manufacturing industry or IT or ITES. So we are going to depend on outside India market also. So we need to think about so how we are going to utilize the services or how we are going to sell the services or sell the goods, what we are going to manufacture here, which is going to be a Himalayan task. All the ports have been closed across the globe now. So we don't know when it will be open. So if it is open, then only the goods can transit from there. The minimum 30 to 45 days it will take to reach India. Then we can start manufacturing unless we have the inventories of the imported parts. So I'm not uh, threatening anyone or I'm not uh, bringing uh, no fear factor for into everybody's mind, but at least we need to be cautious. And uh, that's what I urge people to prepare a cash flow for next two years. So the current, uh, the next financial year, that is April 20 to March 21, I assume so there will be a reduction of 30 to 40 percent of the capacity. So what we have been utilized in the last financial year. Since there's going to be a shrinkage in the export market, only everybody has to depend on domestic, that is Indian market. Then the year after, the next financial year, that is 21-22, so there may be a slight uh, comeback compared to the uh, next financial year. So we'll have to be tighten our belts and stick, strictly prepare cash flow. Everybody can sit together virtually. So have a conference, have a Zoom call meetings, prepare a cash flow, considering 50 to 60% of your capacity. So that's what we can aim it 
as a revenue as a top line then prepare your cost budget control everything start from the scratch come back to basics begin from basics so that's a lesson what we can learn from this crisis so crisis it's an opportunity for us to look into all the numbers so get to basics prepare your cash flow then you can decide so whether the moratorium the government has announced whether we can utilize it or not if the cash flow says yes we want go ahead and use it because it adds a cost to us so it's not going to, the interest is going to not going to stop the interest clock is going to run again so that is the important thing we need to have everybody everyone's mind once the cash flow is prepared then you can take a call so where to focus on our next line items then capacity see whatever the capacity we are sitting on whether it's a manufacturing industry or it's a it or ites so what is the capacity we are going to have it so there will be a unutilized capacity of machine materials and man so we need to think about it and sit together and talk to like minded business professionals so why can why can't we have a consolidated capacity planning so whereby we can bring down the cost of operating the capacity to the minimum so let's uh, sell the capacity or share the capacity on a short term basis for a one year or six months till the crisis is over so capacity is what we need to uh, operate it in a full optimum manner either by operating on our own or jointly operating or selling our capacity or buying capacity from outside so that is going to be the major thing which can bring your cost efficiency in a better way then the final is cost reduction so everyone has to focus on cost reduction in the coming days if you see the manufacturing industry manufacturing industry there are uh, lots of ifs and buts are going so we don't know what's going to happen for bs6 so anyway bs6 is announced and it is going to roll over from april 1st onwards uh, the engines are ready and the machines are fitted with engines are ready now but that's going to be a cost now so i heard some compact suv is going to cost about 15 to 20000 rupees per vehicle extra now so who are going to buy that vehicles now so people are thinking of uh, not even looking into buying now so they want to save for the future so so how, how is going to impact us the bs4 to bs6 then people are going to reduce their expenses from the luxury spending so a lot of announcement has come is coming on the way and i was speaking to people they are saying that no their incentives or bonuses and the increment is going to be on hold and even in fact people have gone further that there is going to be a reduction in our salary which means so we are not going to spend any money we will not have any money to spend so that's going to be automatically shrinkage in demand so how are you going to meet our targets the revenue targets that's why i urge people to look into the uh, cash flow estimates budget estimates for next two years I have a very 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 conservative numbers on top lines let's say 50 to 60 percentage if you meet it that will be the great and look into cost areas where you can optimize where you can share the capacity where you can share the resources then only you can meet your numbers or you can have a break even points so this is a tough time so to meet the covid 19 crisis i think i will advise the people can focus on three c's one is the cash flow management for next two years then the capacity planning share the capacity with your fellow subsidiaries or the like minded uh, companies then focus on cost reduction these three c's you use it as a weapons to win over the covid 19 war so thank you and all the very best